percent cash build is next people will be probably familiar it's got about 225 corporate stores almost all of which are in south africa probably 10 percent of them in the neighboring countries market capitalization nine and a half billion rand price earnings ratio 20.14 dividend yield 2.63 it's a well-established player. Pat Goldrick and some of his predecessors, like Albert Kupman and so on, did a great job focusing on the sort of peri-urban areas That's and also the sort of, um, you know, sort of ruralish, rural but areas, not well, sort of rural traders. hinterland, yeah. more yeah. sort of rural um, areas that are quite densely populated. Yeah. Big box stores, limited items, but very yeah. solid, very solid. As you say, Paul, limited uh, assortment, but at a very, very keen price. Mm. So if you're the small trader or you're a, you're a, a relatively small individual, uh, you go there and you're going to get all the things, even the timber and cement and glass and all these lovely, uh, good, all this good stuff, and you're going to get it at a really good price. Mm. So the way it works is that when people have got a bit of money, maybe a Christmas bonus or they manage to get a retirement package or something, or maybe somebody from town sends the, some money, then people go into the stores and procure a certain amount of stuff, which then often gets used by a bucky builder to do the job at yeah. home. Cement blocks is for room additions. It's for conversion of informal structures into formal structures, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But the company continues to expand its footprint. The recent trading update, though, just a little bit disappointed probably no fault of you know the management team or of the business model but just a reflection that consumers in this market a little bit anxious about you know discretionary spend of that yeah. scale yeah. having said that it's probably the most defensive of all of these companies yeah. in the south african context let's have a look at the chart because we're running low on time so that spike at the right hand side there was because they had a trading update about a month ago which was um well received in so far as it uh, reversed the trend you can see it's been a very strong performer yeah. of late so what do we think i mean uh, Werner diager and his colleagues are continuing to do the good work they're continuing to press their suppliers they know what they're doing are you hot on this one chris i love this stock there it, it has the odd hiccup maybe every 10 years and that's about the size of it on the long term this thing is wonderfully it's wonderfully stable i think yeah. it's a brilliant stock i'm very hot on it and as far as it goes uh whilst you might have patches of consumer you know sort of um pressure it's not necessarily a lasting problem we know the yeah. rand has been relatively firm and that will lessen inflationary pressures so the reserve bank won't be so worried uh, inflation is relatively low, so possibly companies will be in a position to extend modest increases to their employees. Yep. Formal sector employment has grown slightly. I'm not going to make it sound as though it's Christmas yet, but you know things are moving. Okay, I'm going to go hot on this one yep. as well, but I'm going to explain in a minute as far as our hot stocks holding there what we've needed to do.